uh, the United States Senate, and I hope everyone here will uh, support him, but I uh, would be honored if uh, he would say a few words. Thanks, Ro. <laughs> well, let me, I just, thank you. Just a couple of words based on what Ray said. I have uh, had the chance in this job to travel all, all over the state of Colorado and all over this country, and the last cycle was actually the chairman of the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee. And when I was in places, even places where uh, uh, there were just Democrats, um, and people were saying, you guys are horrible, uh, the place is terrible, you deserve the 9% approval rating that you have, I would say that in the, it started out in the four years, but now in the six years that I've been there, the best legislative leadership I've seen was the leadership provided by John McCain, whom you mentioned, Lindsey Graham, Jeff Flake, and Marco Rubio, the four Republicans who sat at that table on immigration for eight months uh, with four Democrats, I was one of those Im Democrats, to negotiate an immigration bill that passed the Senate with almost 70 votes and which should pass the House of Representatives. If the Speaker would only put it on the floor tomorrow, uh, it would pass. And so to echo the point that you made, I tell people at home all the time that this left-right stuff that you're watching on the cable television at night, whether it's Fox or whether it's MSNBC, and, or, or is taking place on the Senate floor or the House floor, is in many ways a masquerade of a b bunch of special interests that are masquerading as two political parties. And the axis that we're really on and the axis that really matters is the future versus past. And the occupiers of the past understand that very well, and they're fighting every single day in Washington to keep things the same. They're fighting to keep tax benefits and regulations and statutes the same as they were in the middle of the 20th century because that suits their economic interests. But that doesn't suit the economic interests of the United States. And if you're concerned, as I know Roe is and as I am, that we don't want to live in a country where median family income is continuing to decline, where we see the worst income inequality that we've seen since 1928. We need an economy that's innovating, that's creating new jobs and, and, and rising wages. And that's going to come through a set of um, conditions that's focused not deep in the last century, but is actually focused toward the future, which is why I think it's so great you have a candidate who's as focused on the future uh, as Roe. Yeah, and it's so great that you had the wisdom to, to, to have open primaries in this state uh, and, to, and to imagine a world where we're not captured by partisan politics. The answers are not going to come from the cable guys at night. That's not where it's going to come. And, and I tell the interns, I'll stop with this, the inter I meet with the college interns every summer. And I tell them, anybody can come to Washington, whether you're an intern or a senator, and repeat what they said on Fox or MSNBC <laughs> last night. That doesn't require leadership, and it doesn't change the debate. Um, I think we need new, fresh people in the Congress. Roe will be one of those people. So I want to thank all of you for your support of him. And I will also thank the handful of people in this room for your support of my efforts uh, over a long period of time. Thank you very much for your help. Well, thank, you for thank, thank you for being here. Thank you. I left off the left, so the last thing is that in the entire history of the United States, and I know what I'm about to say doesn't apply to you, but it applies to you. <coughs> entire history of the United States, the entire history of the United States Senate, there has been one senator who was born in New Delhi, India, and that is me. <laughs> <laughs> It was really obvious to all of us. <laughs> well, so we do have some work right the action. What? I, I, I can say we don't have anyone of Indian origin in the United States Senate. So now I got to change that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Family Hospital. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, thank you, uh, Senator Bennett, and and uh, you know, it's a, like I said, it's a.